This all began with a big bang. Today the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. Including trillions of stars, billions of planets and millions of black holes. These all are made up of something, known as matter. But is it true? Is only matter present in this universe? Or is there its devil twin? Imagine you have given a ball of high energy, if you squeezed it into a very small space, two types of particles are produced having opposite nature from each other. Out of these two, one type of particle have same properties like an ordinary matter. The another thus known as antimatter. As its name suggests, it is the exact opposite of normal matter. In 1932 anti-electrons or positrons were found in cosmic ray debris by Carl Anderson. The first antiprotons were deliberately created in 1955 at Berkeley Labs Bevatron, the highest energy particle accelerator of its day. Matter and antimatter are always created as a pair. Only antimatter isn't created by humans till now. To better understand antimatter, one needs to know more about matter. Matter is made up of atoms, consisting protons, neutrons and electrons, having positive, neutral and negative charges respectively. In the case of antimatter, the electrical charge is reversed relative to matter. Anti-electrons, called positrons, behave like electrons but have a positive charge. Antiprotons, as the name implies, are protons with a negative charge. As antimatter is exact opposite of matter, one can assume that, it may have anti-gravity properties. But according to NASA it's not. Although it has not been experimentally confirmed, Existing theory predicts that antimatter behaves the same to gravity as does normal matter. Till now we haven't solved the mystery of antimatter. In the first moments after the Big Bang, only energy existed. As the universe cooled and expanded, particles of both matter and antimatter were produced in equal amounts. Why matter came to dominate is a question that scientists have yet to discover. Antimatter is rare that it would cost us $100 billion to create 1 milligram of antimatter. Bananas produce antimatter, about one positron every 75 minutes. Yes, you can still safely eat bananas. They're only a little radioactive. The body of a person weighing 80 kilograms emits 180 positrons per hour. This comes from the decay of potassium-40. What makes antimatter unique is that when antimatter comes in contact with its regular matter counterpart, they mutually destroy each other and all of their mass is converted to energy. Just a handful of antimatter could produce a huge amount of power, making it a popular fuel for futuristic vehicles in science fiction. Antimatter rocket propulsion is hypothetically possible, but there is currently no technology available to mass produce or collect antimatter in the volume needed. One day, if we can figure out a way to create or collect enough antimatter, antimatter-propelled interstellar travel could become a reality. That's it for now, I hope you learned something new today. To join this journey, explore the subscribe button and hit it. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.